Good morning, everybody. As I told y'all yesterday, I was going to be back today. Lord have mercy, I'm here. Tell y'all what, y'all. Um, I think we're going to do a twofer today. Um, I got this uh, buttered garlic shallots and savory with roasted white pepper. Uh, we're going to try this one now. I heard this one doesn't have any heat to it. Um, that's what Mr. Duke told me anyway. So we're going to find out here. Um, I'm not really sure about the taste. I did taste this one time, um, but I had tried to have Ward X first. Um, that's what I call it. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if I'm saying that name right. It was the one I reviewed yesterday. Um, that was got a little heat to it. I couldn't really tell nothing about this one because I did it right after that one. Also, you got Mr. Duke. This is from Mr. Duke Iman here, and from Mr. Uh, Scott Lazarus. We're gonna be if I can get this here to show. We got some good old choke cherry there from uh, Scott Lazarus there from Little Acre Farms. I'm gonna go ahead and try that one. Now this one doesn't have any heat either. Um, he makes all kind of Scott makes all kind of jams and jellies. And, uh, he's got some heated, some not, and this is one of them that's not. Um, I got another one there, a gooseberry that's not heated, but uh, we're going to give that to my my mom in law. She likes that gooseberry. We do too, but we're going to let them have that one. Uh, but y'all, I'm going to go ahead and try this one. Like I said, this is the butter garlic with shallots and savory with roasted white pepper. Let's see how good this is going to taste. I'll let y'all see what it looks like here in a second, best I can. Uh, here you go. You can see I got some on the spoon there. Uh, uh, I hate that. I can't get it up there where it'll show it too good. I'm trying, y'all. About all it looks like in this thing here with that glare. I got on this dirty sand, but I promise you this ain't no sand. Uh, this is all sea salt, uh, flavored sea salts. He does a real good job of it. The man has nailed every one of them I've tried so far. He's definitely nailed them. They are good. Here we go, y'all. Mm -hmm. We can taste the garlic in there, but that stuff's good. Good Lord of mercy. Mmm. No heat. Like you said, there's no heat to it. Um, the garlic comes out. You can taste the garlic. That's the first thing I tasted was the garlic. And then you get the, the shallots. And then, of course, the salt comes in there pretty quick, too, along with the garlic. And then uh, that roasted white pepper comes in. And, Lord, that's good. Uh, this is another one you nailed there, Mr. Duke. I love this stuff here. Uh, shoot. Mm. This would be good on any kind of Italian dish, uh, lasagna, any kind of pasta, anything like that. Ooh, ooh, yeah, this would be fantastic on it. Um, boy, I love that garlic taste there. Mm. Boy, that's good. Um, yeah, y'all got to so say, y'all going to have to order one of these right here. These things are good. Uh, like I said, they'd be excellent on any kind of pasta dish, anything like that. Uh, oh, man, that's good. Y'all hold on a second. Let me go wash this spoon off here. I'm, I don't want to get any of this inside this jelly. I'll be right back. Y'all be seeing me back here. Okay, we got that done. Now, let's check out this stuff here. I said this is a two for today. We're going to go ahead and knock both of them out while I'm at it. Um, I've been promising Scott I would do this. I'm sorry this is taking so long, Scott. Uh, boy, this is good. It's got a real good consistency to it. Oops. Look at that. That's real good. Boy, I can't wait to try this one. Um, I've got a bunch of his heated jellies in there. Ooh, they right on point, too. They are good. I don't know. I think him and Duke must be brothers, and they just don't know it because they both good at what they do. Uh, let's see here. Mm. It's going to be mean to me. 
There it went. It just didn't want to open, but ooh, that smells good. They ain't really got a whole lot of smell to it. Now, y'all, for those of y'all that don't know what a, a choke berry is, or a choke cherry, as he calls it here, a choke cherry, um, it comes off a bush. It's, it's a little, it's not really a bush. It's kind of a tree. They don't get real big, but uh, they get pretty good size. Um, you go pick the berries, you got to be careful because there's going to be thorns anywhere from about this long up to about this long on it, and they just they just needle sharp on the end, and they do hurt. I picked them down south. We call them slows. Slows are slow. Um, the old timers all call them slow, S-L-O-V-E. Uh, you go pick them off the bush, you ain't gonna like them off the tree. You ain't gonna like them. They real bitter. They don't really taste too good. But buddy, I tell you what, they make a good jelly. Mama used to make this when I was a young. I love this stuff. Uh, mm, it's got just a little bit of smell to it. It's not much. Here, I'll let y'all get a little look at that. You can see that. See there? That's some pretty looking jelly. Yes, sir. Here we go, y'all. Let me give this one a shot. All right. Let me wipe this off here. I don't want it dripping all over the place. Getting in the chair, I have to sit down in, but y'all can see this. I'm going to have to hurry up because it's trying to drip on me back over. But uh, y'all can see this, see how pretty it is, see that color. That's got a real good color to it. Okay, y'all, let's give this a shot here. This is Choke Cherry by uh, Little Acre Farms there, Mr. Uh, Scott Lazarus. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that's good. Scott, Lord have mercy. You must have got my mama's recipe for this. This tastes just like mama used to make. Oh, that stuff's good. I got to get another spoonful. Mmm. Oh, man, that's just right. That's good, Scott, uh, Mr. Scott. That's real good right there. Uh, everybody, Lord have mercy. It doesn't have have too much. He sent this sample to me. Thank you, Mr. Scott. Um, this stuff here, oh, Lord, it's good. Uh, like I said, it tastes, it tastes like what my mama used to make. Oh, oh I can eat that whole jar right there. There ain't no doubt about that. But y'all, I'm fixing to have to get off here. I got a couple things I got to do today. I'm fixing to have to go get my wife up. We're going to have to start getting ready here. We got to go over to to her daddy's house, I gotta help him with some fence posts. So uh, they're placing fence posts there, and his chicken pen and his goat pens. We're gonna go do that today. <coughs> if we don't, excuse me, uh, excuse me, y'all. We're gonna do that day if we don't get rained out. It looks like it's about to rain out there, but I'm gonna go out there and help him get done what he can. He's about 81 years old, so he kind of needs some help. But y'all, y'all have a good day. I'm gonna have a good one anyway. I mean, if it ain't doing nothing but putting up fence posts between the rain. Take care, and God bless each and every one of you. And oh, by the way, don't forget, tomorrow, the Death Nut Challenge. I will be doing that. Um, I'm not sure what time yet. Um, I'll let y'all know sometime tomorrow morning what time I'm going to do that. I'll post it on Facebook. Y'all see it on my Facebook book page. Um, so y'all kind of keep a lookout for that. Um, I was told yesterday that I'm a true chili head. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out here with those death nuts. If I can get through them, then I say, yeah, buddy, I'm there. Uh, so we're going to see. All right, everybody. Again, y'all have a good day. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see y'all tomorrow.